Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. Today's video we're going to be shooting the new Hoyt Venom 33. Uh, first impressions of this bow. Just shot a couple times just setting it up and getting the rest put on. Um, but really excited. It's set up at 70 pounds and 30 inch draw. So we kind of go over string angle, go over stability, uh, balance of it and how it settles in and everything and speed. So if you want to see how this bow performs and if it's a bow that I would uh, recommend or take home today then go ahead and stay tuned. So first things first, guys, as always. All right, guys, quick interruption again on this video. I just want to let you guys know that my giveaway is going to give away any bow that you guys want. So if you want this Venom 33 or you want a uh, RX-5 or you want a Prime or you want a Hoyt, Matthews, anything, literally anything, plus an at-home shop, bow press, bow vise, all the tools you need to work on your bow at home, we're giving that away. And how you get entered in is you buy something on my website, hacksandhunt.com. That gets you entered in. Every $10 you spend on my website is one entry. So if you buy something, you spend 50 bucks, you got five entries. Um, right now we've got hats, shirts, um, a, just two of these left. And I didn't tell you guys here on YouTube yet, but so there's 11 uh, stabilizers that are total that I have, that will be selling, I guess, but I got two left. Those 11 people then go in a separate drawing and uh, one of those people will get a second stabilizer for free. So, um, but then they're also included in the giveaway for the bow. So you got two left and that's good for like nine entries or something, I think after tax and after shipping or whatever. But anyway, I got more hats coming, um, shirts. I got a couple hats in stock maybe. I got decals, but I do have a whole bunch of hats coming, new styles, new designs. So I'm super stoked about that. Anyway, just wanna make it fast. Thank you guys so much for the support that you've shown me for this giveaway. I'm super stoked to be able to give somebody any bow they want and a complete at-home shop. So let's head back over to the Venom 33 review because it is a freaking stellar bow. So thanks again, guys. This is showing the balance of that bow. Hoy is, again, said it a million times, super good at uh, getting that perfect balance for that bow. A um, couple new features um, of the new Hoyt. So this is the 33, so this is, takes place of the Ultra. So 33 inch axle axle there. Um, we've got a new mount up here on the front that you'll be able to actually put a little rail there and all the site manufacturers are making a new uh, site to be able to clamp on there. That way you have weight off of the side of the razor and it's or riser and it's straight mounted to the front. Um, completely new cam system that Hoyt has come out with. No more cam one, cam two, cam three. It's a single cam, but there are two different mods. So you got the lower end and the higher end um, for the draw lengths. This is the higher one set at 30 inches and new riser looks super sweet with an additional little uh, stabilizer mount right there up front. Um, kind of replicates having a six inch stabilizer in the regular mounted area. So, so far shooting the 30, I've found that I really, really like it. It performs really well. So let's get into this and just go with that first shot, draw cycle. Okay, so super smooth draw. It just gently sets back into that back wall and it does not want to jump for it at all. Yeah, it just stays right back there, settles in. Pretty dang nice. String angle. If I close my eyes and tilt down, it's basically just right in the natural place to put my head. Shoots super good. That thing is solid in the hand. There is no vi no vibration, no jump forward. Um, being that ultra, it is a little heavy, um, but that is not bare. I mean, it has that two-inch stabilizer, which that's all weights. I don't know the uh, exact weight that that comes in at, but. It feels real good. Let's draw that back again. Super smooth draw. Very stable in the hand. It doesn't want to torque at all. Just very consistently 
sets right where I want it. Yeah, it does not jump out of your hand at all. Very, very impressed with that Venom 33. Honestly, I've heard mixed feelings about it. Some people um, don't like it. Some people really love it. And personally, I think they have finally entered into that the level that Matthews is at with having it so dead in the hand after the shot. So it's pretty comparable. Let's see here. Pretty comparable to how Matthews feels if you've shot one of those. That thing's straight killer. I, and this new, uh, new old back in stock, basically buckskin color is freaking awesome. I might, uh, I gotta put this one head to head with the uh, Prime Nexus 4 because that has so far been the top bow for me for this year. Um, but after shooting this, honestly, that might be one I'm gonna be looking into. So we'll have to do a comparison with that and this and then see, see how that goes. But let's shoot it through the chronograph, kind of see what speeds we are getting with both the 440 grain and uh, 480 grain arrows that I have. And then do a quick couple arrow grouping so we know if, you know, how stable it is, how consistent it is. And then kind of discuss on if it's a bow I would take home today. All right, so first up through the chronograph is going to be a 440 grain arrow. And again, reminder, it is a 30 inch bow with uh, 70 pound limbs with 440 grain arrow. Shoot this one through the chronograph. That shot 296. So not too bad, just right under that 300 mark. And then a 480 grain. They're at 281, so pretty decent speeds coming out of that uh, Venom 33. Honestly, feels really, really good in the hand. Very smooth shooting, smooth draw. Um, not super heavy, but you can definitely tell the difference between this one and the uh, 30 inch, which obviously there's a lot more riser in it. But uh, let's do a quick couple arrow grouping, see how that groups, see how it settles and how consistent it feels. And then kind of talk about if it's about I want to take home. All right, so let's do a quick few arrow group. Draw that back, smooth draw, anchor in. Feels real consistent. That one felt really, really good. And again, I, I don't feel like I need an additional stabilizer up front. I might throw one on there just to play with it and see how it affects it, but having that one down in the bottom feels way good. It's hitting hard. Hopefully I don't hit my arrows there. Third arrow. Great group there out of that Hoyt Venom 33. Take you guys down there so you can see that. But so far, so good. Really, really impressed with this uh, Venom 33. So far, I don't really have any complaints about it. All right, so there's that quick little few arrow group there from that Venom 33. Let's see, get that to focus. Not too bad. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up this video with the first impressions of the new Hoyt Venom 33. Uh, stellar bow, freaking feels killer in the hand. Uh, shoots really, really well, have zero complaints. Honestly, a lot more impressed with it than I was anticipating. Um, balance of it's really good, settles in real nice, feels really good in the hand. Um, stays in your hand after the shot. There's no vibration, no jump forward, uh, which is for me uh, a, a kind of a big deal. I, I like something that's pretty solid in the hand. That's why I bought the VXR last year was for that uh, very reason. But uh, yeah, super, super impressed. This is a bow I'd for sure have zero problem buying today. Got no complaints. Um, I would recommend getting down to your nearest dealer if possible and getting the chance to shoot one of these bows if you have the ability to. Uh, not only is it a ton of fun, but uh, it 
shoots really, really good. You might end up buying one if you shoot one of those, but um, I'll be curious to see how it shoots up against the Prime Nexus 4. That so far has been my top bow. So I'm gonna do comparison of these two bows and uh, see which one I would want. It's gonna be a hard decision, I know, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Thanks for all the support you guys do, do show me on my channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate Terry here at TNT Archery for letting me come on in. Um, to his shop he recently just moved to a new shop so stoked for him super awesome shop so if you're in southern utah st george area stop by give him a call and uh come in here and check it out but anyway guys that's all i have for you guys today we'll see you guys next time